Alright guys, back again for another game of Magic. This is looking like a very nice hand. I decided to change it up to the, um, whatever this deck's called, I can't think what it's called, but it's a really nice deck. Well, I've got it built as well, it's pretty aggressive with lots of 2 and 3 drops, as you can see in my hand they're all 2 and 3 drops. The card advantage is insane, I'm not too happy about seeing a mountain over there to be honest, because he might just burn this out before I can start drawing cards off it, but if he doesn't, it's going to go insane very quickly with the Spirit Mantle and the Daybreak Coronet, which is an insane card. It does honestly look like Jesus, that card, and it's like, yeah, I'm Jesus, I'll give you plus three, plus three, first strike, Vigilance Lifelink. Yeah, there you go, that's what I was afraid of, burning out my card, which is annoying, so now I actually kind of need to draw a land. <laughs> oh, there we go, like a boss, and we all play the Enchantress, because that way I can draw cards again if he doesn't have another burn spell, and if he does burn it, then I can just play this guy. So I'm pretty set up now, he's going to have to have a lot of burn, and I'm pretty sure that's the uh, mono red deck, not the dodge and burn deck. So yeah, he's going to burn up, that's fine, don't really care, because I can just play this guy. It's a little bit annoying actually, I do care a little bit, but a couple of what I expected, but luckily I have another 3 drop to play. So uh, he can keep wasting those burn spells on my creatures and not my face, and I'll be happy. There's another land as well, it's nice. He doesn't have any enchantments, does he? Do I just want to cast that, because he might have that. That thingy. Actually, no, if he does have that, if, if he, I'm trying to think of that card which deals you two damage um, at your upkeep and you can't gain life, which would kind of affect the Daybreak Coronet a little bit of the life link. But if he plays that and taps out for it, that's fine, which he's not, he's just going to, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Because uh, if he did that, I could literally just play a Spirit Mantle Coronet on this guy and start whacking him. Um, which I still can. Unless he flames of the flames of the Fireman? No, uh, Flame Slashes me which he doesn't, so I'm pretty sure he has no one mana answer. Why is that land tapped weird? I don't know. Um, so we can just play Spirit Mantle on here, and that's the game, I would say. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Rage Quit right here. Going against 6-6 uh, six, six Vigilance First Strike, keyword being Lifelink, and also Vigilance is pretty important. That is literally the game, unless he has double Searing Spirit, I suppose. Um, or Flame Shaft Searing Spear, I, would, I don't know. There, there are some some outs from I suppose, with four cards in hand. Okay, Lava Rex, that's, uh, yeah, that's fine. That is going to be the game then, because next turn I can just equip up some another Daybreak Coronet, and then we've got a 9-9. Nine -nine. With Lifelink against a Burn Deck. So how can a Burn Deck deal with a 9-9 nine -nine Lifelink? That is literally the game. You might as well just stop watching, to be honest. It's, it's over. This game is over. <laughs> Let's play that in there. Um... And we'll start whacking them, and that's pretty much the game next turn. So that's going to be a turn 5 win, I think, which is pretty nice. That's why this deck is one of my favourites, because it's so powerful. I might as well play that, because why not? And yeah, that's the game. I'm going to get play another game of this. Um, actually, yeah. So I'm going to get another game after this, because this was a frighteningly quick game. That doesn't concern me at all. Just a 5-5 five, five dragon, not a problem, because I have protection from creatures. So do your worst. You can take me down to 23. This burn deck is really going well. It's uh, used up uh, 11 power of burn spells, and I find myself in 23 power. I could equip this to be a complete scrubby dubby new, but there's no point. I want to get this game done. So we'll swing on with that. Kill him, move on to the next game. Let's start this duel up. I'm playing my favourite deck. Well, I say it's my favourite deck. It's probably my favourite deck. It's just really, really good. Um, This one's kind of alright, but I don't have any way to get my artifacts out, so I'm kind of like, I want to go in for another one. Okay, this one's probably slightly worse, but I don't want to go to six, we'll just keep this. See, I like keeping hands where i got like some way to get my artifact or something. This is, yeah, this is pretty a naff hand, actually. Maybe I should have gone down to six, but we'll see. I'll probably draw something good in the next couple of turns. Just, that's the way it goes. Um, what am I playing against? Something green. Uh, elves by the looks of it then. I don't think there's any other deck that runs the Essence Warden. I think it must just be the Elf deck, which could be a problem. Oh, there's a nice little path to exile. It's pretty decent. Um, but I'd still need a way to draw my artifacts. Uma's Uma's Jite is ridiculous. I'd love to draw that, especially against Elf deck. I think that'd be really good. Um, do I just want a Helix of Stings? Do I want him gaining life? Or do I not really care? I don't think I really care. I want to save these removal spells for something that's more scary, like a Draga Warcaller or something like that, if that is indeed what he's playing. I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure nothing else runs Essence Warden, so that's fine. You can ding me for one. Let's see what you're going to do after that. Unless there's one of those new decks, I'm not sure. I have only played the new decks a little bit, so I'm not entirely sure. That is not what I want to see. I do not want to see another land for quite a while. I'm 
done with lands for now. I just need to draw my artifacts, please. Um, none of the swords won't do much because they only give me protection against red, blue, and white. So, playing against a green deck, the swords won't really do that much. So, as soon as I get a chance to draw any artifacts, I'll go and straight for Umazuma's GTA because it's so good. So good that it's even banned in modern. Now, this guy is what I'm sort of saving some removal spells for. Um, what do I want to do to him? Helix him, I guess. I think. Yeah, I think so. Probably the best thing to do. Just going to do it now before I miss the end step or something. There's no way to regenerate himself or anything. Let's just do it now. Go over and done with. He's gone. Thank you very much. Game free life. Another, I love this card. Really good. Another popular modern card. And there's another land. Okay. Come on, deck. I said you're my favorite deck. You're supposed to, like, give me some good stuff once I said some good stuff about you. But at the moment, you've just delivered me land after land. You did give me a path, admittedly. But now I really need to draw something else because I'm not going to win by digging him for one the next 18 turns, especially when he's gaining life. So come on, give me something good. What's it going to be? It's going to be a heedless one, which might have to get pathed at some point because it can get pretty big. Pretty big. Um, he's probably just going to dig me for one again. He is indeed. Come on, let me draw something good. Umazuma's GTA right now. I'll be able to play it, equip it, and oh, I'll be perfect. Come on, give me Umazuma's GTA. Oh, it's another bloody 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Oh, this is annoying. Well, I'm still going to attack because I got Bushido. Bushido is pretty nice. Means he can trade if he wants, but yeah, I wouldn't be trading for that. Um, uh, I'll just put another devoted retainer out there. They are pretty devoted, these guys, but um, that just negates the one damage I've done as well, so it's kind of annoying. But yeah, I really need to draw something which gets me a GTA or even just one of my big bombs. I've got some 5 and 6 drops in here, which I can play. And that'd be really nice. It's getting to the point where I might just have to path to exile this thing because I don't want to be taking all this damage. What was this? Hang on, hang on, let me just pause it because I'm 100% sure. My super is too feature. But yeah, it's going to have to get pathed, isn't it? Let's see if he's got another one drop to play on or something. No, he's just going to attack and then he can get a forest. That's fine. It's a bit laggy, so let's get this out here. Make sure I select the right card. You can go into exile and you get an extra land. It's nice for you. I will not take seven damage, thank you very much. So that's a bit of a nice little two for one because uh, enchantment just drops off as well. Come on, give me a GTA card that looks like GTA. <laughs> There's only one in the deck, but so something can draw it. Oh, it's another land. This is really, really, really bad so far. Um, There's no point in not attacking, so we will attack with all. This is really poor. Just the land I've drawn. What I've drawn one spell. Yeah, path to exile. Admittedly, excellent spell, but that is all I've drawn in this game. I've just been drawing land, land, land. Really poor, but hopefully next turn. Next turn, I can literally play anything in my deck. I have seven land now. So he's playing for another alpha status. This is not good because I don't have anything to deal with at the moment. And he's on the hexproof guy, which is uh, interesting. Don't normally see this sort of combination. Uh, but yeah, if I get GTA, look, literally I play double cleave on it as well, to smash in there, get loads of counters, it's going to be ridiculous, but please don't be a mountain or a plains. Okay, this is good, this is good, finally. Uh, i got enough land, yep, I can do all this crazy stuff. Do I just attack first? I think so. I don't think he's got like any removal on that deck. Or has he got some flash guys? I don't know, who knows. But this guy is really good because of his ability, goes, get me, goes and gets me my GTA, so that's really nice. So that's exactly what I was hoping to draw. Let's pop him out there. Next turn I can search my GTA and attack with him, equip it, yes. So as long as he sticks around, which I imagine he will, because this guy's got two cards in hand and very little removal of any in his deck. So if he attacks with that, I'm just going to let it through, because there are one or two pump spells, I believe, in this elf deck, so there's no way I'm going to risk trading this guy. That guy is pretty good. Um, I think I will be able to kill him with GTA next turn though, because he's only a 2-2. So I'll just attack with this guy. Yep, even better that he's attacking now. That's good for me, because now he's got like no good blocks at all. So he can hit me for that if he wants. And now I can start chump blocking if I want, because that guy does not have trample. No, he does not. So that's fine, I've got some chump blockers, I've got the Magite. Another land, my god, I'm getting a lot of land. Uh, I just have vigilance so I can do it during attacks. Um, if 
four power that's fine let me I can give it double strike as well which is ridiculous yep let's get in there I'm gonna leave these guys back just so I can um chop up oh get in there uh, I suppose I can leave just I can attack with one yeah it's fine I can attack with one and if he doesn't block or whatever I'll just wait for him to de declare blocks no blocks okay that's fine by me I will go and get a GTA where is it here we go we'll put that onto the battlefield we will attach thank you very much and we will oh actually ah oh, damn it damn it damn it damn it I missed a double cleave opportunity ah oh, dear well even so I can still give this guy some minus one counters do it once, any responses? No response. Do it again. Minus one, minus one. I should have really double cleaved that because then I could have just taken out this guy as well and whatever. Oh, next turn. Number, next turn I can double cleave. Get a double strike so I get double activation on Uber's image GT. That'd be really nice. That guy doesn't scare me at all. It's fine. Um, this guy's a little bit scary, I have to admit, because he's hexproof and pretty big. Uh. Yeah, it's a little bit scary. <laughs> but GT Yeah, GT can actually just kill these two guys which are pumping him, so he's actually just gonna be what a three three and he's not even attacking. Interesting. I might be able to get a very nice little double striking thing on here. Cause I can attach I can attack attach a sword, so it'll be plus two plus two, which will give it six six double strike. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. This is why I love this deck, it's so good. Get in there with that, he will declare blocks. I'll do my stuff and I'll try to remember to play double cleave this time. He wants to block, that's fine. Now I go and get a card out of my library, attach it to this guy. We'll get which one's more important now? The life gain maybe? No, I think sword just to ding his creatures even more. We'll attach it to that guy, and then we will double strike him. So, oh, I can't double strike him. Oh, dear. I'm an idiot, because I just attached the bloody sword. Oh, and now he knows I've got it, but even so, I still managed to make him survive. Uh, that's annoying. <laughs> I should have done that before I attached it. Uh, my sequencer has been completely off this game. Anyway, we're just going to kill his side. So that should be fine. What's he saying? Nice. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you get you get the message. Um... Even though I've made two misplays, they weren't horrendous misplays, they're still going to win me the game. So I'll just kill everything he has. Okay, so that's in the game. I'm going to play out against the computer just so you can see what I can do, because what can you do against that? What can you do against that? A banned card, a £27 card, and a really decent guy. Yeah. Oh, he's going to play a taunt enough. That's just going to die somehow. What can I kill it before combat? I don't think I can. Oh, just a swing in with everything. Attack the ball. Can I kill him this turn? No, I don't think I can either. He's got no cards in hand, so there's no way I can kill. I can go get that plus three, plus one thingy, the die show thing. Might as well, because there's not much else to do. So we will go search for a card. This is literally the best draw I could have had, to be honest, guy. I get War and Peace, or I could just get. This guy, I don't think it really matters to be honest, I've won the game, it's just attach it to this guy. Oh, I probably should attach it to that guy, yeah, well, whatever, I literally won this game, there's nothing this elf guy is going to do, so. That is game next turn, I do believe. What's he going to draw? Nothing. Nissa, don't want to play anything, want to put your little drag or walk order out there, you can pump him up nicely, nice little kicker. Probably not going to happen though, come on computer, what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to play this guy, well, that can die. That can definitely die. Have I got counters? Yeah, I can do it. Main phase. Oh, I can play that as well. Might as well. This game is over. So, yeah, thanks guys for watching. This is uh, just showing you the power of the deck. I was getting flooded out, drawing loads of land. I just draw one of my key spells and it's game. Literally nothing you can do. I just destroy a side with my sword and my GT. <laughs> Look at that. That's ridiculous power right there. Um, we will attack with all. Because why not? I could, yeah, I could get even Stevens there, but whatever. Bash in there. No need to get any artifacts. So thanks, guys, for watching. I'll be uploading some more Magic the Gathering on this channel. So I'll be uploading some in real, in real life IRL magic as well with my new HD camera, which I'm getting. 